Welcome <laughs> to Thespeet Thursday, everyone. We have the amazing casting extraordinaire, Alyssa Rogers, with us today. Woohoo! Alyssa, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm okay. How is um how is this lockdown life treating you? Ah, I can't complain, honest, honestly. I mean, I know it has the negative effects, but I've just had time to just work on myself and read and just get things done that I normally wouldn't be able to do. So, yeah, I can't complain, but I know it's it's not really the best, but I'm just taking the best out of it. You make the positive. You see the positive. You can't change it, so might as well see the positive. A hundred percent. Like, you just, there's nothing you can do. Worrying about it isn't going to change it, so... Exactly. Get on with it, and like you said, see the positives. Do all those things that you never <laughs> can do. Um, I'm like slowly checking off my list of like, oh, I really must like super glue that knob back on the door, and I really must like you know organize <laughs> yeah. my wardrobe and stuff like that. So it's good for those sorts of things. Um, but listen, everyone watching, um, obviously Alyssa is a casting director, um, and. I would love to know, obviously people probably know already, but would you tell us like your casting journey? Like, how did you get into it? Like, I know this kind of, uh, you started in Germany, right? I started in Germany, yeah. yeah. Um, I fell into it. It's really stupid to say it that way, but after graduating from school, I didn't want to study. I was like, oh, I can't be bothered to go to university and study languages. Or I was like, I wanted to do something in the performing world, in the creative industry. Um, but I started out working in a clothing store and then I saw this internship at a TV company that were looking for people to work there as a director for a TV series that I was obsessed with. It was horrible, but I just loved it. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I'm going to apply. Um, went for the job interview, got the job, but they said, look, there's no director spot left, but we'll put you into casting. And I'm like, okay, whatever that is. <laughs> um, <laughs> and that was in 2008. So, wow, quite like 12 years ago now, which is quite a long time. But I just, yeah, that's how my journey started. And I just worked my way up, um, had a bit of a, uh, um, what is it called? A break to study musical theater. But then I went back into casting. Like casting always called me back. It was like, come back, Alyssa. I was like, oh, okay. God. I didn't know that you did musical theater. Uh, musical theater in Denmark and Germany and then drama in London as well. So oh, I do God. know the performing side of it. And how good is that, that now you know both? It's, it's helpful. It's helpful for the casting process to know the other side. So important. Did you know like that first day that you, when they, when they put you in to the casting like department, did you think, yeah, this is really cool. I, I really, um, I wanna do this. Like, did you have that moment or were you just like going with the flow? Like, I, no, I was going with the flow and everybody was like, Alyssa, you're amazing. And I'm like, am I? <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, okay, well, I guess I have like a, a, a feel for people and I know what role is for what, for whatever reason, it's just something that, yeah. Yeah, I guess that's, what would you say like the attributes of like uh, someone in casting? I guess like, yeah, having a really good eye, being good with people, like you said, is there anything that you can think that maybe people wouldn't know um, that would be a good attribute? admin <laughs> <laughs> I mean 80% of casting is all about admin and being precise and being very like um, organized and structured and I think that's my that helps my German efficiency help me a lot <laughs> to get through this <laughs> but it's a lot of doing lists doing contracts and a lot of people don't see the admin side you have to really actually love admin as well to do it because it's all yeah. <laughs> It's a lot of that as well, apart from the creative. Yeah. And yeah. like, you know when, um, say, uh, like, uh, you're casting something, you must get a lot of submissions, right? How do you, like, whittle that down? Like, how do you even start to do that process? Um, well, it's mainly the first thing we look at are the headshots, to be honest. Because wow. that's when we get the submissions um, through. And then... Once we have the headshots, I mean, we look at showreels if we're not certain or if we don't know the agent or something that we need to double check. So that's how we start whizzling it down. But it is, it is, it is work. I mean, I enjoy it because 
I love doing it, but it is quite a lot. Like if you put it on Twitter, you get 200 submissions within three hours. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, so it is, you have to really love it. Oh my gosh. So headshot is obviously, obviously we've always known it's really important, but anyone out there, if you're thinking, oh, my headshot's a bit, whatever, get a new headshot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, headshots are quite important. Like you have to look like your headshot. I don't say, because headshots are, are expensive and I know actors can't always afford it. Mm. So, but if you look really, really different to your headshot, make that investment. And it doesn't have to go to the most expensive headshot photographer. Just go to who you think works for you and you can find somebody that meets your budget. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, that's a very good uh, point. Try to look like your headshot. There's so many people that you look at their headshots and you think, you don't look like that at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that, that's good. Um, but what is like, what's the toughest thing do you think about like casting say like a new show something that's not been done before which is probably I guess in telly that happens all the time with obviously in theatre you can cast a show that's been going for 20 years but in tv and film I guess a lot of the time it's like a new piece how do you um like what would be the toughest thing about doing something like that getting it right I think nailing it because it's the like pilot it's, it's um, not, the pressure isn't really on me because I'm, I'm still a casting associate. So it's more the pressure on the casting director, that kind of responsibility that they have to get it right. But if you, if you've done that job for such a long time, you do get a feel of who's right for which character and then the network approves it as well. So most of the time it should go right. Mm -hmm. So I, yeah. And it's always nice to create something new like completely new from scratch and you don't have to go into season two where you already know those characters and you have to actually go with that genre or that style. Of course, that's nice because you already have that style, you know where to go with it. Um, but yeah, for example, Ted Lasso, that was just so much fun. I bet. New characters and being in the room and just like seeing it and just figuring out the puzzles. It was such, yeah, it was such an amazing project chaotic a bit at sometimes but it was worth it worth it. <laughs> yeah absolutely yeah. um so oh here's a good question then so you've looked at the headshot you call people in for an audition mm -hmm. is there is there something that you could tell the actor now oh my gosh dog's going crazy um, <laughs> yeah. is there something that you could want like one thing you could tell the actor that maybe they don't already know like we, we know that basics obviously but is there something that you that you learned from you've probably been in a thousand auditions you know i think mm, not nothing that you would already know once you've done your audition just forget about it because yes. it's done and dusted and move on and if you if you're supposed to get that role it will happen there's no need in worrying about it and putting yourself down if you think you didn't do a good job because you did if you prepared and if you know the role and you, and you did your best shot, let it go and then move on to the next one. Just keep on going and going and going. And also, I think the more times you fall down, as in the more times you get rejected, the stronger you get and the better you get. So you learn from it. Because yeah. people say, oh, I've been in the room so many times and I didn't get the part. What's going on? What's wrong? And why am I not getting it, the part? And it's like, because it's not your time yet. You still have to learn stuff. <laughs> yeah um yeah no that's really good I mean yeah I think I've been to a thousand auditions, thousand <laughs> auditions and and yeah I, I think that's such a good piece of advice I, I love to do the thing walk out and then I don't think about it obviously if I get a call then that's great but if I don't it's gone I think it's kind of a downfall if you kind of oh, oh I haven't heard yeah just don't hang on to it don't it's no. in the past it's gone. In the past. It's gone. It's over. <laughs> you can't go back in time. And yeah, it's like Thomas Edison. People don't know before he first invented the light. He did like a thousand miss miss eras. And then the thousand one was the right one. But he did it a thousand times until he got it right. Yeah, exactly. And people don't see sometimes they don't see that. Like they don't see the journey. Yeah. Um, you know, they don't see the struggle. They just see the, I don't know, the, the big break. And they think that, oh my God, it was like an overnight thing. But most of the time, if you're watching an actor on telly, they probably, 
you know, it's not an overnight success. They've been working for a very long time, been rejected a thousand times, you know, all of those things. Um, but I always say to people like younger actors and stuff, just keep going because I've wanted to give up so many times and I haven't. And I'm so grateful that I haven't because there was just amazing things just around that corner. And you just, you never know. Like Alyssa is saying, just keep going, just do the audition, forget about it, get the rejection, forget about it. And then move forward. Yes. Um, move forward and keep going, basically. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see. Um, have you got any advice for like budding casting? You know, people who want to get into casting. I have a lot of friends who are like, oh, I really would love to get into casting, but don't know how to do it. Um, is there any advice? Obviously, you said you kind of fell into it, but now being in the process, do you think there's a certain way of going about it? Um, making sure that you're on the red radar and I guess keep on pest, like not pestering, but emailing casting offices saying, if you want a helping hand or something, I'm happy to come in. I want to learn. I'm interested in it. And also the CDG website, the casting director skill website, all the vacancies. Like I used to tell friends that want to go into it to bookmark that tab. So once they open their Internet Explorer, that's there and they just click it. So they see it every morning because mm -hmm. sometimes they look for people that don't necessarily have to have experience in casting. Like they're happy to train people. Yeah. And it's just a lot about it is about networking, putting yourself into out there. And just if you really want it, you you will be determined and you just don't just keep on going. And yeah. we do keep like CVs and stuff on file if we need somebody. At the moment, it's a bit difficult because not because of COVID and such, not many projects are happening. I mean, they are happening, but not like massive amounts of projects. Um, but yeah, I think look at the CDG, look on Twitter. Twitter, all of the casting directors, they post a lot of vacancies as well. And um, yeah, even email offices say, yeah. look, I want to learn about it. Cause you never know, you never know. And I guess it's something with casting, you can, um, you have to kind of be in it to, to learn from it, you know? So whether that's, girls, look at what they're doing now. I mean, this is what they do every time. Oh, every, time. every time though. <laughs> Every time I'm speaking to someone, you decide they're quiet, they're silent, they're asleep, they look really cute. When I get on Zoom, this is what happens. Yeah, they want your attention. <laughs> yeah, they do. They're like, why are you not looking at me? Come here. Come this is magic. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, yes, you have to kind you have to be in it. So um, obviously the only, the only world I really know is musical theatre but like you said just asking you know can I be a runner for the day can I shadow you for the day can I you know just sit on the panel and watch and then you'll learn so much um, yeah. and we're all nice people in this industry so you know exactly. there's no harm in asking I don't think no. um, but what's like on your hit list of casting like there is there something that's already around that you would love to be involved with is there like a particular kind of genre or something you'd love to cast um is there anything like in your head that's like a, a thing that you'd love to do within the casting world um I like comedy and also stories that are based on true events yeah that have, like I like that kind of stuff and at some point I would like to work on a U.S. project prefer preferably New York um because I did like a mentorship with a casting director from New York. I got into a mentorship program and she's amazing. She's just incredible. Um, just to learn about the casting process in the States. I wouldn't want to go there for like, and live there, but that's like my hit list to go to America, maybe for three months for whatever, do a project, come back. But yeah, that's the next, the next, the next step is the New York. <laughs> that's very cool. Is it like, is the casting process over there very different, do you think? not very different the, the main things are quite the same it varies a bit with network and studio projects and sometimes like the way they use cast it breakdown express different kind of softwares but it mainly is quite the same yeah yeah oh yeah. that's exciting i love yeah. new york i just love the energy there just I so know. exciting <laughs> 
I love it. <laughs> it will happen. Did you ever want to go back into like, obviously you said you did some musical theatre for a while. Is that something that you would love to do at, like at some point? Or you're just like, no, I'm done. I'm, I'm in my casting zone. I'm... Um... I've decided for myself to go the casting way. I mean, it was a lot of like, should I, should I not? Balancing yeah. it, trying to figure out doing both. But yeah. then in the end, casting was like, no, let's uh, go the casting way. Yeah. And I do like performing, like doing stuff as in the evening, like as a hobby. As a hobby, I'll keep doing it. Yeah. But as like to pay for my bills and everything, I'll keep doing the casting because it's one of my passions as well. And then maybe in 10 years time, maybe I will go back to the stage. I don't know. But for now, it's like casting it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's interesting because I think a lot of people, they'll say to me, oh, I really want to, you know, do musical theatre. And like you said, you don't have to go into the industry. You can just do it for the joy. And you can yeah, do it, as, exactly. like you said, as a hobby. And that's amazing. I had the best time when I was younger and I was just doing am amateur dramatics in my like hometown. I had the most fun. Obviously now it's my job and it's still fun, <laughs> but it's, it's my job, you know? Um, so yeah, having something that you love as a hobby is so cool. You don't have to do everything with a, like a means to an end. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, just loving it and doing it is so wonderful and you need to do it. So if there's people watching here that, that are going, oh, I want to get into musicals, I want to, whatever it is, just, just do it. Just do it for fun, you know, and then just see what happens. Um, well, you don't have the pressure either. No you more relaxed. Exactly. Exactly. Um, so, Alyssa, last <laughs> question. Last question. Um, what is, like, the biggest thing that you've kind of um, learnt within this time, as in, like, what's been happening globally? What's something that you've actually, like maybe learn about yourself or um yeah something that you like for me it's it's been nice like we were saying before it's been nice to actually have the breath and the time to actually go process everything that was happening in my life because I think when you're you'll be the same in your job it's probably so like chaotic and you're probably doing a thousand projects at the same time and you can never really process anything so when you have like a victory and you've cast something and it's amazing and everyone's really happy I find that I never had that time to go well done <laughs> I was just like on to the next and in the industry you're always on to the next thinking about the next thing. You can never settle, you can never relax. Um, so for me, that's what I've kind of taken from it. But is there anything that you've kind of learned in this time about yourself or about anything? I've learned a lot about myself um, and also just to breathe and just to relax at some points and just know it will all work out. Like nothing is impossible. If somebody gets some we need to find a replacement in within two days we will we will manage like it's it's gonna happen because although i mean it cannot not happen so just keep in mind it's gonna work out in the end so no need to stress about it or just everything i think the more because you've had the folk i i found my focus i found the way to just breathe not to rush myself too much and just to um that's what I learned, like you, and also to, now I lost my thread. Um, <laughs> oh, to take in victory and to be proud of stuff that you worked for because you worked hard for it. Like when I heard that Ted Lasso got all these nominations, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. And everybody else, you deserve it because you worked so hard. Yeah. And it's still difficult to acknowledge it, but I am learning it. Yeah. And just knowing that hard work really pays off. I mean, I was screaming and shouting when I saw the nomination. I was like, oh my gosh, I was so happy. And people were looking at me saying, what are you insane? What's going on? Because I was out on my walk and my friend messaged me and I didn't even know it. I was like, what? <laughs> what an amazing feeling that must have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was incredible. It was just like, take it in, accept it and be proud of it because people that work hard and if they get rewarded it's yeah what you give out you get it you get back it's an exchange yes absolutely. um <laughs> so, i yeah. love that i love that thank you so much for coming on Thank you for having me <laughs> it's been so wonderful to talk to you um lovely to talk to you amy yeah just thank you keep watching Alyssa's career and what she's up to 
Um, I don't know if you're on the social medias. I'm not sure. Obviously, you're on Twitter, but I, yeah, follow Alyssa, see what she's up to. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for talking. Thank to you, us today. Thanks for being so fabulous. <laughs> Love.